All right, guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we're going to see how to set learning rate scheduler uh, for training your model. So whenever you are training your model, you don't want to set a high learning rate because it will just uh, oscillate uh, so much and uh, it won't co converge well. Or if you set a low learning rate means it will take longer time to uh, reach the point of convergence. So in order to avoid that and to get the optimal uh, uh, training, uh, you have to set like a learning rate scheduler. What it does is initially we will be having a higher learning rate and uh, over the number of epochs, it will try to uh, uh, reduce the learning rate. So initially it will train faster and gradually it will uh, uh, train slower. So this will be able to easily uh, converge at the global uh, minimum. So this will be very helpful if you are training like a big neural network and uh, you, you want the uh, good results uh, in the end. So I'm going to use uh, the previous video's code uh, for this. We already done uh, this for using the pre-trained model. I'm going to set the learning rate for this, but you can able to uh, do this for any kind of uh, uh, problem. Like if you are using some other module means definitely you can do this. So for this, I'm going to import uh, a module uh, that is learning rate scheduler keras dot callbacks import learning rate scheduler and uh, I'm going to define a function. So this function, you can able to uh, get it uh, from the internet. Like if you want to set a different uh, learning rate, you can able to set it uh, using this. So this is exponential decay, exponential decay. So if epochs less than three, I will return uh, the learning rate as it is. So the learning rate won't be changing at the first time. Else if it, if it goes greater than uh, three, so I'll just say epoch greater less than or equal to if it's gone greater than three, I will return Ella multiplies. Sorry, this is tensorflow dot math dot x. This is just like an exponential uh, function. Just set it as zero minus zero point one. It will just slowly uh, reduce the uh, learning rate. Let's run this. So if you want to check how the learning rate changes for I n range of, uh, I'll say 10, this is just like a epoch and I'm going to print. Um, okay. It's actually returning the learning rate, right? So I will set the initial learning rate here. LR equals uh, 0 0.01 and LR equals um, scheduler of, uh, I'll pass the epoch that is I and the learning rate and I will print the learning rate with the epochs. So that will be I comma LR run this. Okay. Tensor flow is not defined. Okay. I can use it as like TF. Sorry. This is TF and, uh, from tensor flow sorry import tensor flow as tf run this and this again hmm. okay okay uh, so here you can able to see the values is actually changing but it's returning as a tensor uh, usually when you are dealing with the model, it will actually convert the learning rate to tensors. So from 0 0.01, it just decreased to 0 0.009, 0 0.008, 0 0.007, like that it will keep on decreasing. If you have like uh, 100 epochs means, it will keep on uh, decreasing the learning rate uh, one by one. So this is how it's done. Instead of, uh, yeah, I think we can just leave it as it is. This is just like an example. Uh, in order to implement this scheduler, uh, this is E. Okay. We have to set it as like a callback. Callback equals, we already imported learning rate scheduler. 
pass the function uh, scheduler run this now while training the model just call the callbacks and callback now here we got the accuracy is around 85 i don't think this will change here because we didn't uh, see that much of our oscillation but yeah this is how you can able to implement the learning rate scheduler uh, let's run this once uh, to check how it is uh, working initially okay i think i didn't uh, i have to rerun the whole thing again so this is for the transfer learning because it it will just uh, show the results from the previous uh, 10 epochs that i have trained in the previous video so this will just uh, start the model uh, from scratch so initially it will just uh, uh, try to uh, uh, train quickly uh, for the first three epochs um, you can i think uh, clearly see the uh, difference you can also compare the results between this video and the previous video uh, if you want okay we got around like 76 and the val accuracy let's wait for a minute and let it complete okay so as you can able to see guys uh, we have reached around 87 percent accuracy but in the previous video, we have oscillated around like uh, 85 only. I think this learning rate scheduler increased the accuracy by uh, 2%. That is definitely a good improvement. But you can uh, able to adjust the learning rate to uh, anything. So this scheduler is like a basic uh, scheduler. Uh, you can also change it to like time-based or uh, discrete uh, uh, scheduler or mini batch uh, scheduler. Uh, like that, uh, there are many functions. You can able to adjust it and uh, use it depends on your uh, uh, scenario uh, if you are using learning rate means it's always better to use uh, as SGD instead of using uh, Adam uh, so that will also uh, improve your uh, uh, metrics uh, somewhat better because most of the research papers are uh, using SGD itself so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, if you have any queries on this please leave a comment below other than that stay tuned for the next video